Hi, I'm Clara. The video you are watching is the first episode of the tutorial of Sepnest. If you have bought the Sepnest software or you are interested in this software and want to know the basic functions in advance, it will be a great start from here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Let's get started! In this video, I will introduce what the SEPNEST is in comparison to the nesting functions in SEPCAD and what situations you may need to purchase this software. The link below in the description, you can get a demo for half hour, download the software, at present, there's less channel for global direct purchase on the official website. If you are going to buy SEPNEST, please contact me. SEPNEST is a nesting software designed for SEPCAD, HEPCAD, sheet, laser cutting system. It integrates advanced functions of drawing modification, quick nesting, tool path generation, analysis report, and more. The corresponding software version of SEPNEST Professional Edition is SEPNEST V4, which should currently support new WeChat users to register for free trial. However, there's no English version of the tutorial on the official website, so customers cannot fully get the functions. In the SEPCAD cutting software, there's also a nesting function, but because of the limited capacity, we didn't introduce too much. Let's take a look at the comparison between SEPCAD and SEPNEST in terms of nesting functions. From this, you can also judge whether SEPNEST, a separate nesting software, is worth to have. First of all, in terms of part tabs, SEPCAD can support up to 50 tabs, but SEPNEST can support up to 2,000 tabs. In SEPCAD, the maximum quantity of each part is 999, but in SEPNEST, the quantity of nestable parts can be as high as 99,999. In SEPCAD, only 20 nesting results are allowed. This is unsatisfactory if a large number of parts are nested. But in SEPNEST, it can support up to 9,999 nesting results. SEPNEST can perform automatic optimization and recognition of drawings, automatic nesting, siding co-edge sorting, visual recognition of remaining material pictures, batch import place and parts, batch modification of parts, automatic or manual siding of remnant lines, skeleton chopping, output forms, etc. But those functions are not spotted in SEPCAD.
So if you need to cut a lot of the same parts or the size of the place is very diverse, such as the sheet metal processing, then the nesting software should be a powerful helper for you. But if your FabLaser carding machine only works about three hours a day, then maybe you don't need this software yet currently. For next episodes of the SEPNEST tutorial, please go to my member channel and find out more practical videos about FabLasers. See you next Sunday here on my YouTube channel. Bye!